Oh my God, they're covered in pee too, so I gotta be really careful here. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin. Welcome back to Fable Hill Farm. I'm going ahead and making an herbal infusion this morning with some purple dead nettle, mullein, and stinging nettle to help with some respiratory issues. So I'm using a quarter cup of this dead nettle right here that I picked on farm, and then some mullein, which I also picked here at our farm, and some stinging nettle, and steep that in hot water for four hours. I'm also mixing up an immune boosting treat for the goats here using some garlic, applesauce, slippery elm, and some different essential oils. And I'm mixing it up in this muffin tin because I found this is handy to do individual doses for goats when giving treats. I've got some different essential oils here and I'm going to be adding these just based off which I think each goat needs. And I'm just taking my garlic here and I'm going to peel it, use the flat side of my knife to kind of crush it a little bit and then add it to the tray. Go ahead and mix in my applesauce and my slippery elm as well and then <clears throat> add in my essential oils as I feel is necessary. Before I take these out to the goats so though, I do just want to remind you guys of something. There are times when it would not be appropriate to use holistic interventions or natural interventions. There are certainly times when the only intervention that's going to make sense is calling a vet or giving an antibiotic or something of that nature. So I'm out in the goat barn and <laughs> I just gave them the uh, applesauce, slippery elm, garlic, little things that you saw me make a second ago. <laughs> However, I didn't film it because giving treats to three crazy goats, any amount of goats, uh, it just it gets a little wild. Goats never like this stuff, but what are you gonna do? Okay, so that's a feed and milk room in there that you might have seen in a previous video. I grabbed the uh, golden seal. I forgot I wanted to add this to the two bucks um, to their little treat things I'm giving them. They won't like the taste of it, so it might make it a little bit more challenging, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to sprinkle a little grain on top with theirs, I think. And then I'm also going to give some probios to the butcher buck, uh, Mr. Stinky or Mr. <laughs> stinky buck, whatever I want to call him, uh, just because it is a wet, gross season and he hasn't had any since I've had him. I haven't administered any and I just think this time of year it'd be good to give him some and I do want to keep him healthy. The plan is for him to be turned into sausage. So, uh, you know, it's important to take care of your animals, whether they're pets or breeding stock or, you know, meat animals. You want a healthy animal. That's how you get uh, nutrient dense uh, food overall. All right, going to the buck pen. Hopefully this turns out okay and I don't get super stinky for no reason. There's our Muscovies. If you didn't see, I just did uh, a really informative video on Muscovy ducks and an introduction to their genetics. You're welcome to check that video out. I will link it down below. Here's what I came up with. Uh, I've got just two bowls. That'll be the easiest way to give it to them individually. I went ahead and added a couple of things that I thought I would mention for Templeton, who is our junior buck, our herd sire. Uh, I went ahead and gave him a little sprinkle of ammonium chloride, which is to help to prevent urinary calculi from bucks consuming grains. And he does currently get a medicated Purina goat feed with a coxostat. And uh, I just periodically give a little ammonium chloride to protect his urinary tract system. Again, I added golden seal to both of them. They each have oregano oil in there. They've got the uh, raw garlic and the applesauce and slippery elm. And then I added the probios for uh, Mr. Our Butcher Buck companion buck for Templeton. 
and uh, I also added for him some minerals because he's not being fed any grain or anything and we don't do free choice minerals for the bucks uh, I do have a salt block out there but and here are the boys the blue-eyed boy is the butcher buck and then the little guy is Templeton watch out boys I got something pretty awesome for you uh, there you go, stinky buck. Let's see how this works. No, nope, Templeton. No, no, no. This one's yours. Oh my God, they're covered in pee too. So I got to be really careful here. So the bucks nibbled on the things I offered them, but they didn't really eat them. There's still basically a full dose for each of them left. So I'm going to bring them into the garage and think about what I want to add to sweeten the deal a little bit. They both, you know, seem totally fine. I just think that it's an important step as far as uh you know just supporting the immune system during a time which uh can be harsh on all of our immune systems human and animals so thank you guys again for watching this video i hope you found it informative and let me know if you have any questions below i'd love to hear from people who have way more experience than me on uh how they manage their herd uh, maybe holistically, maybe not. You know, I'm not against traditional uh, medicine. I'm not against traditional approaches. I think that at, in general, you have to do what's best for your herd, what's best for your lifestyle, for your schedule, for your wallet, and do the best you can. And there's a time and a place for everything. So I just want to state that, you know, I'm not a vet. I'm new to owning goats. I've said that in previous videos, but I am not new to natural health. And I have a really um, experience view on immune challenges, on supporting the immune system, on using uh, herbs and supplements and, and nutraceuticals and things of that nature as medicine. And that's just how I'm approaching, uh, you know, my herd as far as their management is concerned. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I would love to hear from you. Like I said, what kind of content do you want to see? Do you have questions about anything I showed you today? Um, do you have goats? Are you just like researching getting goats or dreaming of getting goats? I would love to hear from you. If you didn't notice, I have long johns on and I forgot to put my jeans on. I think it's because I threw them in the wash and I'm really not that warm right now. So I'm definitely going to go in. I should also probably check the wood stove before I go in just because it's a smart thing to do. All right. Stove is at 178. Ideal temperature is 180. So we're sitting, sitting pretty good. I'm just going to open it, which sometimes can be a mistake if wood like falls out, but all right. We're looking good, so I'm not going to monkey with it. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to work. Huh?